Alright, good day Country Club Hills residents. I'm Eric Booker and I'm here with Assistant Chief Michelle Hellinger. Thanks so much for coming out to talk to me today. No, we love it when you come around because we love to educate our residents and other interested people. On October 12th okay. at 11 a.m. we're going to have the grand opening yes. of the fire training facility. Yep. And it will be open to all residents, okay. city workers, families, and to actually any other curious people. So talk about what's on the inside of it. First, starting with you know the total square footage and things like that. Okay, so it's uh, approximately 2,300 square feet. Okay. Like I said, it's supposed to uh, mimic a two-story residential. Okay. So it would have a front room, mm -hmm. um, and then it will have like a dining area, okay. hallways, bathrooms, okay. closets. Um, actual, so actual restrooms are cut into mm -hmm. the facility. Correct. The, what's the purpose of those heavy steel doors? How will they be used? So those are called humblers. Okay. Um, and the purpose of those is to really teach for us, for the fire department, um, forcible entry. Because a lot of times when you show up at a fire, you know, the door could be locked. Um, okay. And it teaches them how to use certain tools, techniques, and controlling the door. Let's move to the second floor. What's oh, upstairs? Oh, missed the kitchen. Oh, I missed the kitchen. Because okay. where do most uh, fires happen? Absolutely, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Okay. Um, and then also in attached to the kitchen okay. is uh, the garage. So there's a garage. Uh, yes, nice. and that will help us to simulate um, some, you know, car fires or, or oftentimes there's a, like electrical fire in the garage. Sure. Yep. And again, just kind of you know restating that whole keep the door shut because a lot of times people will leave that service door yep. open. Yep. And now that garage fire is introduced into the actual structure. Yep. So it'll be kind of mimicking that as well. Okay. Um, there is a staircase with a landing that okay. brings you to the second floor. Okay. Uh, on the second floor is the master bedroom, okay. and then the two other bedrooms, and okay. um, another bathroom. It also has nice. a back deck. And um, the purpose of all this is to really get back to fundamentals of firefighting, yep. as well as incorporate yep. advanced firefighting techniques, you know, once we kind of get to that point. But, mm -hmm. you know, this facility allows us to actually um, throw ladders. Um, okay. As you can see, there's a roof simulator. I just looked at that, yeah. Yep. And so oftentimes you'll see firemen up there cutting holes. Okay. Um, and that's to, you know, release the toxic gases and allow the, uh, the engine company to okay. get in and, and advance hose lines. Okay. Um, it also does have an attic. Um, okay. You know, because a lot wow. of times attic fires yep. happen. Yep. Um, and like I said, it teaches fire behavior. Mm -hmm. um, it'll also help us with uh, apparatus placement, establishing okay. water supply, which is probably this is a lot going on. Yeah, but it yeah, just shows yeah. the depth of training that we can do with this facility. Again, a pleasure. Thank you guys for keeping us safe, yes. giving us peace of mind when we're sleeping at night and even during the day. Thank you guys for the awesome job that you all do. It's an honor to serve. Guys, that is the amazing Assistant Chief Michelle Hollinger. Uh, on behalf of our mayor and our city council, uh, you guys are watching Comcast Channel 4 in Country Club Hills. Thanks again for watching.